Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and with a break from my regular schedule, there is more Elite Dangerous because I've been having some issues with the uh, Kerbal Space program. So uh, yeah, I'm stripping my Sidewinder. You notice how the Hardpoint door has Hardpoint written underneath it? Hardpoint 2, Hardpoint 1. So uh, the reason I'm selling this stuff off is because I'm ready to move on from my Sidewinder. I have 75,681, oh, plus a little more for the heatsink launcher, which I'm getting rid of. I am stripping my spacecraft because the shipyard here has a little bit of an upgrade. We have the Eagle. The Eagle Mark II, I believe, in Frontier, but I'm not sure the Mark II actually makes it here. The Cobra, Cobra Mark III has Mark III written next to it, but the Eagle doesn't have Mark II written next to it, so I'm presuming it might just be an Eagle. Who knows? Anyway, um, I'm sincerely hoping the game hasn't swallowed my money, because this is taking a really, really long time to get me a new ship. Oh my god. Uh, I, I've heard of uh, the game eating people's money, but then again, I've also heard of people hacking the game. Oh yes! Awesome! I got it! Let's just look around this new cockpit here. Okay, we have the little... I, I think those nozzles are on all the seats. I think they're RCS controls. You know, so when you eject, you can still fly or whatever. Nice! Well, uh, it looks a lot sleeker. This is much more like a fighter aircraft. I'm kind of disappointed I can't see behind me. Anyway, let's check with the station services. Um, so I wonder how much cargo this thing can actually take. Uh, so it says cargo zero out of four units. So it isn't an advantage in terms of its trading capability. And that's fine. I mean, it looks more like a fighter spacecraft or something with those wings that, you know, of course, make dubious sense. Although, uh, at some point, I gather there will be a planetary landing. So let's outfit the ship with as much death as we can. Outfit. Okay, so we have a Class two fixed pulse laser. Let's uh, buy something else. And I'm going to be an easy guy and go for the gimbaled pulse laser. That will make it easier for me to hit targets. Oh, and that's interesting. So that hard point was on top, and this one is underneath. Oh, look, there's like one there on that side, and there's one there... These are cheap enough that I can actually fit three of them. So I can fit more guns on this, although they're actually lower power than the default guns in the Sidewinder. But regardless, uh, utility mount, nothing here worth buying. I just bought a weapon that does not belong in a fire group. Uh, let me sh make sure I fix that before I go. Because that would be really... Okay, open up the window and go to fire groups. Put the pulse lasers in there so that when I pull the trigger that all of the lasers fire at once. Okay, let's uh, get ready to depart. Uh, oh, there's somebody's left some crop harvesters around. I could probably steal that and... I don't know. Probably not. Okay, work. I could go to this anarchist system or I could go to Asilus Prime. Or, you know, why am I even going anywhere? I should just go to one of these, like, conflict zones. What have we got? Conflict zone, low intensity conflict zone, high intensity. Oh, federal distress signal. That's the one. Federal distress signal. Defend the, defend the federal cruiser or whatever battleship battle cruiser from uh, the bad guys or the good guys. So I gather the way it's written is that the Federation are making military moves into the Iranian system and. Uh, I guess the locals will be defending against this giant Federation battle cruiser. We'll find out. Okay, off we go. So even in the small five-system universe that they've created, there's plenty of conflict already. And does that surprise anyone? Even in our one-planet solar system, we have plenty of conflict on this just tiny speck of dust in the universe. Not wanting to, uh, well, wanting to paraphrase Carl Sagan's pale blue dot. I'm bringing up the weapons because the sight helps me uh, figure out where my front is, which is always a problem with a new spacecraft, that I keep scraping the edges when I'm using the using track IR, which is of course how I'm turning my head here. So I keep forgetting where the actual front of the spacecraft is and scraping the edges. Okay, and there's some people around here, but uh, let's clear the station and find where I'm supposed to be going. Ooh, listen to that engine. And we're almost there, ready for battle. All weapon systems gonna be armed in just a second. Dropping out. Okay, what have we got here? Come on, load, 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 load my instance. Okay, there's something. Where is it? 
Okay, so I'm going to select my faction. I want to be with the Federation. I don't know why, but I'm just picking the Federation. Ooh, listen to the engine. It's completely different. This this is nice. I can't wait to find a target to uh, demonstrate my lasers on. There is the battle cruiser there. And that's Federal Fighter. We don't want to shoot that. The sky is filled with lasers, and there is an attack wing. Unsuspecting of what danger I'm about to bring to bear on them. Look at this! Four! Three lasers! Three lasers! Oh, almost took his shields down there. Strafe around! Bring him. Where is he? Oh man, he's behind me. Come on! Bring over the top. Oh, under attack, but... Oh, I, I think this might be slightly less agile than the Sidewinder. But it does have the advantage of fitting three guns. Okay, so I'm going to boost away and then turn around and come back for another pass. Look at that cruiser there. That is pretty sweet. I'm not sure you'll ever be able to fly those in the game. It wouldn't make sense. Okay, we have info windows overlapping. Shields down! You're not long for this universe. You have no chance to survive. Oh, no, don't shoot the Federal guys. You have no chance to survive. Make your time. Yes, come on, for it, 50%. This is nice, it, it really uh, does a lot. Having three lasers makes it a whole lot more impressive. Gah, lasers are just like on the edge of overheating here. There, yes! And I get 500 credits. Great, now go fight some more targets. Oh, you're, you're a sitting duck. Let me just slow right down. Target shields offline, and you're not gonna last long at this rate. There you are, trying your spinny around you thingy. You learned to fly from Anakin Skywalker, the H year old version, of course. Brilliant! 500, that's me made a thousand credits, that's uh, that's more than I could make on any trade run, to be honest. Oh, actually, okay, if I get four of these, it'll be more than I could make on any trade run in this spacecraft. So far, nobody has done any serious damage to Oh, he did not last long. Okay, let's find another target. And there we go, legal status, clean. But, uh, yes, well, you crossed the Federation. And now you will suffer for that misconception. We are not forgiving. Business means everything. And we are in the business of dealing death. Come on. Yes, 0%. These things are far too easy to kill in, the, in this, um, in the Eagle. I'm just wondering how the e the Cobra Mark III in the previous version was insanely powerful compared to the other players. If you didn't if you didn't have a if you caught the other players with a full load of weapons, it was very Oh, interesting. Look, when So oh so even though I have like a, a gimbaled weapons, they have limited fire arcs. So if their the target is too high then only the top laser can fire. And if it's too low I bet only the lower lasers will fire. So even if you have gimbaled weapons on the Eagle, there's a limit to the fire arcs and where you can actually hit the targets. That, that's actually kind of cool, because I guess it's modeled based upon the hardpoint locations. I wonder if there's other spacecraft which make further compromises in this area. That is a pretty cool uh, concept. There's that. There is that uh, Federation battlecruiser there. On fire, but uh, I'm doing my best to keep it alive. That uh, he's dead again. Obviously doing my best to just kill these guys. Yeah, I, I like the Eagle a whole lot. It seems like a fantastic upgrade to the Sidewinder, especially when you fill it with, like, three lasers. I'm able to do much better. Like, I'm able to make much more money from the uh, from the combat areas than I could be from trading. I just question if that's true when there's other players around, because other players have been known to just, like, well, kill you all the time. Because it's funny. It's funny attacking other players, isn't it? Especially when you know that there's somebody that's paying real... Wow, they've actually had to work for their cash. I'm sorry, this is just awesome. <laughs> I really like this eagle. I never really thought the eagle was that particularly good in, in Frontier. It was just like a starter ship, more or less. You know, because the Cobra Mark III was considered a major upgrade in, in Frontier. But uh, this is a this is a decent upgrade from the Sidewinder. There is that battle cruiser with all its damage, and there's a guy just sitting right behind. I'm gonna try and slide sideways so I can gotta get a clear shot. Don't want to hit the cruiser. There we go. 
Look, they're trying to do this trick where they hang in the dead zone. I shall show, teach them a lesson. Just give me a moment. Ah, there you see, he's he's took his eyes off the prize, and now he's attacking me. Well, that won't last long. Go away, he's behind me. How is he getting behind me? And my shields are almost down. Not good. Oh, taking real damage here, I think. That's the noise. You hear the things cracking when you take damage. But now I have you. I have you now. There, come on. Shields down. Target shields offline. And soon your hull is going to be offline soon. 75%, 66%. You are not low. Oh, there also seems to be lateral fire arcs as well as vertical limitations on the fire arcs. So having gimbaled weapons doesn't automatically mean that you're putting 100% of the damage on the target. A lot of people complained about it, but also with the gimbaled weapons you have to go one class lower. I, I just find it, you know, that hitting the target makes a bigger difference than the extra damage. Okay, sweet. So I think uh, I'm going to leave this here. This is the Eagle Mark II from Elite Dangerous. Uh, Interstellar Quest was delayed because of big technical problems, but uh, it will be out tomorrow. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.